the Buddha was born a prince of the Sakya clan and was named Siddhartha. At birth, a sage predicted that he would grow up to become a great holy king who would unify the world. As the future ruler of the Sakya clan, Prince Siddhartha lived a luxurious life of comfort and pleasure in the palace. However, in search of the great way of liberation, to save all sentient beings from the cycle of birth and death, Siddhartha left the palace on a white horse. He came to a forest at the foot of the snowy mountains, and there he practiced asceticism. For six long years, Siddhartha endured every form of ascetic practices until he finally realized that the middle path was the answer. Cultivation is like playing a musical string instrument. The string will snap if it is too tight or not make any sound if it is too loose. Indulgence in sensual pleasure or extreme penance are attachments. Be at peace with the middle path for achieving the liberation of body and mind. Siddhartha sat in cultivation beneath the Bodhi tree. Alone, he confronted the torturous assailments from Mara's evil horns. <laughs> The earth is my witness. At that instant, Siddhartha was in complete tranquility and perfect emptiness. He was enlightened and he became the Buddha. Strange indeed, all sentient beings exist with a Buddha nature but it is suppressed by vexation and delusion. I wish to be humble. I am not enslaved by fame and wealth. I have come to spread the Dharma, to free all sentient beings from the sea of samsara. Your Majesty, as a king, you should love your people as your own children. A king should not oppress the people. Life should be valued equally, as nothing is more honorable than life itself. Whatever the hierarchy, every person has an inner self that can shine forth. Buddha. Please let go of me. I am dirty. Niti, we should not look down upon ourselves. One does not become distinguished by one's birth, but by one's behavior. You clear the dirt from people's homes. I clear the dirt from people's hearts. Hence, you and I are the same. Please rise. Rahula, is the water in this basin drinkable? Of course not. You are just like the water in this basin, essentially clean. But as you persistently tell lies, you become tainted. No one will cherish you. Aniruddha, let me do the sowing for you. Neither the disciples nor the sentient beings have I ever considered as mine. I am but just a member of the Sangha.
honored one, why do you sit under a withered tree exposed to the sun? Please, go into the shade. The shelter of your own clan is far better shade than that of any tree. Your majesty, can you not feel it? Since enlightenment, I've shown you the noble eightfold path. Right understanding, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. I have never wearied of teaching the Dharma. The Buddha was born in a palace. While still in his youth, he became a monk. He attained enlightenment under a Bodhi. At the age of 80, between a pair of sala trees, the Buddha entered Nirvana. I have delivered all the sentient beings I could, and have planted the seeds of deliverance for those who have yet to be delivered. Let the precepts be your teacher, and my teachings your guide, and I will be with you.